Hi everyone, welcome to Beauty by Trish and today I am doing this, I am stopped what I was doing in the middle and I want to do this video. I just had the opportunity to do it now. I'm putting a little bit of primer on my face is all I'm doing. Okay, so I had I had mentioned in my, I believe it was my week in review, everything's a mess in this room right now. Um, I think it was in my week in review video that I did last week, I had mentioned how much I am loving this Makeup Forever in the stick. Love it. Someone wrote me a short little note and said that they had tried several drugstore foundation sticks also and that they had not had any luck but there was one that their friend had told them about they had not bought it they thought it was a little pricey for a drugstore stick foundation and wanted to know if i had tried it and this is one that i had not tried so today i'm going to match up the sonia kashuk foundation stick and i got this in i believe it was fawn against my Makeup Forever. Now, I'm pretty sure that my Makeup Forever is a little, yeah, there's a little bit of a color difference. There's a little bit of a color difference. But I'm going to put the Sonia Kashuk on first. Yeah, this has a really really strong like a perfumey smell and you know this is exactly what it did the other day this is going back um, because it is $10.99 I believe and as you can see I just put two or three good stripes down my face and it just disappeared like that. See there is hardly any coverage to this at all. Okay, let me see if this is closer. Yeah, it's a little bit closer, I think. I'm going to go ahead and use this. This is 128Y415. Yeah, it's a little bit better. A little bit closer in color than my original. And this is a still, I'm not going to use the butt end because that's what I used for the other. But see how it's just spreading? Like I can bring it up here. I mean, there really is. I mean, there's quite the difference. You saw how easily that blended. And this one had just basically disappeared. This feels very waxy. The Sonia Kashuk feels very waxy to me. Um, I don't care for it at all. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and just take a makeup wipe. Start my nose and here a little bit. Yeah, to me there is... There's no comparison at all. This sets nice. This wears a long time. Super easy to use, to blend. Is a Stila um, makeup sponge. It's super, super soft, but it's almost like there's a, it's almost like there's a moisture locked inside that is helping dispense things. It, don't get me wrong, I still love my beauty blender, but this just, you know I like the black beauty blender the most. This kind of is amped up version of the black. It puts things on nicely, quickly. really like this. I didn't even know this existed. I'm do a little bit with my brows. I'm going to use my Smashbox 24. I'm just going to throw on a couple matte colors. Nothing too fancy. In the winter time, I really advise 
if you have dry under eyes, put on just a little bit extra moisturizer. Do it slowly in between so that it so that it absorbs nicely, but it really does it really does uh, make a difference if you have dry under eyes. And I'm just going to use my shape tape. I'm going to use the one I have in white. I think that's really all I need right now. And I'm just going to tap that in. Bring it down just a little bit. If you do have mature eyes, this is a really nice concealer. If you can get it, I know there's a lot of a lot of people having a hard time getting it. But I think that if you do the tapping method and then go ahead and use your your beauty sponge, I think that the tapping of the finger warms it up enough that it really helps with uh, minimizing any lines or anything. I'm going to go ahead and use my Laura Mercier. Boy, the eyebrows really have a personality today, don't they? I just picked this up the other day, so I wanted to use it. The Smashbox, what is it called? LA Lights Palette Contour Blush and Highlight. And it has a ginormous mirror. Ginormous. And there's the colors. This is Richberry. This is the one I'm going to do. And this is just my Maybelline, the fiber volume. I love this stuff. Love, love this stuff so much. This is new from the drugstore. This is CoverGirl So Lashy Blast Pro Mascara Lash Finder uh, Bold Sexy Lashes for All Lash Types. This is what the package looks like. And you have a little side view there of the brush itself. Can you see up into there? And then the tube. So let's give this a little a little try. Revlon has some new lip things out. They have like a lip balm um, and then they have like a um, it's a slim tube lipstick. I didn't pick it up. Okay, so here is the the brush for this. I want to build my collection of better lipsticks. And so I didn't get any of the Revlon ones to try. Oh my gosh, guys, I bought myself a water pick. I've wanted one for a long time and I finally just just bought it. They had them on rollback and the dental hygienist had given me a $10 mail-in rebate. So I got such a good deal. I love it. At night, I've been putting a cap full of Listerine in it. So when I flaw, so when I do it, it's you know, has a little bit of de-germing stuff going on. I love it. Well, I tell you, I'm impressed. I'm gonna use this moisture moisture stick from Rimmel, and I want to use one of. The NARS, their new uh, lip velvets, and these are the colors. This one is because I would make a fool out of myself. And this is the kind of applicator that it has. Let's do this. Okay, guys, I have to say this is definitely going back. Not even close to the Makeup Forever. The Makeup Forever, um, it just feels like skin. There is no 
tackiness, there's no dewiness, there's no waxiness. It just goes into my skin. It feels like a regular, just a liquid foundation after I've set it. Even if I don't set it, it still sinks into my skin and I don't have that, like it's just going to slide off my face if I lean over or something. Um, really, really love this foundation. This, no, pigmentation, very poor. A lot of waxy feel just kind of you know it's going back that's all there is to it this this Stila sponge is really really nice if you like the black beauty blender it feels a lot like it I really do enjoy it I might actually start getting this instead of the black beauty blender and then just keep the pink beauty blender but definitely a great great item the Smashbox palette. I think it's a great palette. I didn't even do a highlight, did I? Great idea. This is a great gift idea. I was really thinking about for the VIB Rouge getting the Viseart blushes and I still kind of I still kind of want them, but this was $39 and it's absolutely beautiful. So and then last but not least was this CoverGirl So Lashy Blast Pro Mascara. This is a really nice, I did get waterproof, you guys know I, I do waterproof, I just do. And if you use coconut oil to remove your waterproof eye makeup, then you're not going to have to worry about losing lashes. This is a really nice formulation for mascara and the applicator is just the bomb. I love the ballpoint end. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.